Now, in staying with the, the ANC, for more on representation issues within the party, we're joined by political analyst Tembi Safakude. Very good evening to you. Thank you so much for your time. We know that uh, former, a, former ANC Women's League President Batabile Lamini was one of the front runners in the race for the NEC positions. In fact, she made it to number 15 on the list after receiving around 856 branch nominations. And now she's been disqualified. And she's not taking this move lying down. And so are, are, are the likes of Andile Lungisa, who says that she cannot not be part of it. Yeah, it's, it's a crisis uh, because you are now going to be going against the will of the people, that is the branches who have gone ahead and nominated all, the, all of those people. I mean, if you look at the top 20 of the NEC nominations, um, all of them have got issues at, or had issues at some point. And if the ANC is trying to cleanse itself, it's trying to cleanse itself and uh, stay away from those that bring it into disrepute, it, it's a big problem. So I, I'm not quite sure how they're going to deal with this because it goes against the will of the of the branches. Uh, but several days, I mean, I got the highest votes, and um, she is rightfully um, in that list. Uh, I don't think she 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 got into the list by any uh, you know um, you know clipping in in, in 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 a form that's not becoming. But she was elected by by the branches, so it's going to be very difficult. I think when you when they get to the conference to convince the branches that some of these people are not supposed to be. Uh, part of the list and as a result they were disqualified. Mm. And she's also disputed her exclusion from contesting saying that she wants to institute legal prose uh, proceedings. Do you think it's a good move because we know that the very rules which have barred her were approved by the NEC? Well it's very really difficult because ANC, you know, ANC belongs to the, the members and it's got its own constitution etc. So the, the, the leadership of the ANC has got a prerogative to uh, Accept and exclude certain people. So, but besides that, again, you know, you're going to be washing your dirty linen in the public, and this is the last thing that the ANC wants. And it's not just, uh, in fact, it could even derail uh, certain processes within the ANC, and uh, it might also just mar, mar the, 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 the entire process, which, uh, including the conference, which is, is about to to start uh, later this week. Mm. When she was former Minister of Social Development, I mean, all of this is because she was found guilty in court of perjury for lying under oath during an inquiry into the social grants debacle at Sasa. A crime, of course, um, judging from how things are going right now, Electoral Committee Chair Khalima Mutlante deems very seriously, especially in his efforts to add some steam to the ANC's attempts of renewal in a more genuine way than has been the case previously. That talks to, to a, a different sort of move and take when it comes to ensuring that, yes, the, the efforts of renewal are genuine. W what do you make of that? Well, I think, the, I think Kalimu Mutlanta is trying and the, whoever else is behind it in this effort. But there are more people who are actually toxic to the AEC more than the cabinet Lamini, who deserve to be uh, to be excluded from the list, but they, they still do appear in that list. And it's going to be very, very difficult for the AEC to explain why that I mean, particularly to women who are already feeling um, bereaved because, uh, you know, they've got very few um, candidates on the top six uh, of, the, of, of the conference that's forthcoming. So you have one of the most prominent leaders of the Women's League, uh, and at the same time you are in short supply of women candidates within the top leadership of the ANC, and that will certainly create uh, problems. And it gives uh, fodder to those who want to continue criticizing the ANC uh, of being not positive to gender parity. Mm. And what sort of precedent do you think it will set ahead of, of, of conference, especially as you speak about uh, gender parity issues? I think it took, it took set the wrong precedent. One, it also looks as if it's a personal vendetta. We know that there's always been that acrimony existing between President Sron Maposa and Batibli Zamini. So now that she's targeted uh, and all those that support her will certainly feel aggrieved that uh, she was a low hanging and uh, she's been used to set an example. But as I said, I think there are no uh, people within the AEC list uh, at the moment that also deserve to be excluded, who are much more toxic, uh, and it will certainly bring or continue to bring the party into disrepute 
uh, and those also need to be targeted. But I think it would have been much better if they started with the men instead of starting with the women, particularly given the current challenges of gender parity within the ANC. Mm, because, I mean, Tony Yengeni is also one person who has also received the same letter that was sent out to Batabile Gamini on Friday. You speak about other individuals who are per perhaps even more toxic to the party. Who exactly are you referring to? Because we also know that hanging is, is questions on how they will now handle those mentioned within the State Capture Commission of Inquiry Report. I mean, one particular defender of, of Batel Zamin is, uh, is Andy Lulungisa, uh, for example. Um, you know, he's one person that they, I mean, at the moment there is a process in place which is trying to actually um, expel him, if not suspend him, from the AEC. So he might also find himself uh, receiving a letter very soon of being uh, excluded from the AEC, depending on what the provincial uh, AEC uh, finds uh, in that process that they are that dealing with. We also have um, the former um, uh, mayor of Eguruleni, Mr. Basina, who's also in, uh, in, in facing some sort of challenges within the provincial uh, leadership of the AEC and how things. So there are, there are quite a number of people on that list who, who might also be receiving letters of exclusion very soon. Very well. Perhaps let's leave it there for now. Thank you for your time. Tembi Safakude, political analyst, weighing in there on uh, the matter around those who have been barred as um, contesting here ahead of the um, uh, NEC, uh, well, NEC, yes.